Hi, I'm Thomas Lucas, and I work for Rogers O'Brien Construction, and I'm your superintendent for the T.A. Brown Elementary School. So today we're going to talk about mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, in-wall, and overhead roughing, which all that means is that how the AC guy, the electrician, and the plumber rough in all of their pipe, their conduit, and their duct to make sure that we have power, water, and air conditioning when it's time to turn the job over. So let's take it in pieces. First, mechanical. Mechanical is really just all the parts and pieces that bring you conditioned air whether it be hot or whether it be cold to the space. So the mechanical contractor is going to hang his duct. The duct is the big round and square pieces that push cold or hot air, depending upon the season, from the mechanical yard that's out beyond the kitchen out to the air handler units that are adjacent to all of the spaces. And the air handler pushes the air out through the duct and out through the supply grills. Now, all the air that it pushes out, it also has to return back through the same system, creating a great big loop. Electrical are your outlets and the ports that you connect into to get to the internet. All of these have boxes that are screwed to the studs. And from those boxes, there's wiring that goes back to an electrical panel or back to the main distribution point for the school. So remember a couple of weeks ago when we talked about underground plumbing? Well, what we're looking at here is what we connected to at the slab and we're extending it up into the building. So you've got your drain stacks for your sinks, both on the first floor and the second floor. You have your vent lines that allow air into the system so that everything drains easily. You also have your plumbing supply lines for water that feed the sinks and the toilets so that when you turn the sink on or you flush the toilet, that water is there. And all of those things are connected to what we already put in place underneath the slab. So it's just a continuation of what we put in the ground four months ago that has gotten us to the point where we are now. 